So the Kua arc finally ends in episode 6. Just as I predicted, I knew this arc would end in episode 6. So anyways, Kua's intentions were pure. But yet again, you have to understand, just because you're doing something for the greater good, doesn't mean it's good. That's exactly what happened in this episode. He, um, you know how Regalia, if it, Regalia does something bad, or it lies or something like that it will sting its master it did not do that so pretty much he was telling the truth he really thought what he was doing was for the greater good even though it's causing everyone else to get harmed but now when you look at a different point of view you see that kuha was pretty much throwing a temper tantrum he wanted to have the same thing what everyone else wanted to be noticed by her by his master Pretty much the whole entire time, while everyone else was all hiding in their pain, he was making a scheme so he would be fully noticed by Senpai. That's the whole entire thing what was. He wanted Bishamon to fully pay attention to him by being the new guidance for her new self. But however, thanks to Yato and Hiori, and of course Kazuma, things totally turned table. So, as for that mass phantom, Mass Phantom looks like something that came out of Digimon. I tell you, I, right now when I saw that, that reminded me of that um, evil transformation of Agumon on Digimon. That's exactly what it looked like. Anyway, besides that, um, last time Yato pretty much took out that giant phantom, but this time it was Bishamon. This time it was best for her to do it, or else it would have been just history repeating itself over and over again. This time she felt like if she did it, she would save them this time. She couldn't get him back because, you know, that's, that's even worse than death when you think about it. Because they were already dead. So, now that they're, they've been eaten, they have no afterlife at all. That's got to suck. You have to think about that. You, you already died. So, your soul. So, you get eaten. So, you have no existence. That's kind of scary when you think about it. Other than that, um, everyone's back in peace. Everything has been solved. Kuwa has not been killed, but I have a feeling it's not the last time we see him, because she spares life, and usually knowing anime, this guy's gonna come back. He'll come back good, he'll come back bad, who knows? All I know is that he will be back. So who knows, probably next season or so, or in the next arc, I don't, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But Cosmo himself feels like he has failed her again. But yet again, he did something he regretted that seems bad. But yet again, it did good for her. So this once again go show. You know you have good intentions, but what you do is what matters the most. Is how you do it. In some cases, anyways. And of course, for Bishamon, she has to find a way to do things better. There's no way she can have all these regalias, but yet not notice them. She needs to understand her regalias more. Kuha did set to her straight, saying, Hey, you need to pay attention to people more, because what's the point of having all of us, but you don't know most of us? So now they're doing a scheduled thing where they, where she spends time with them, each and every one of them. But that's a lot of regalias to pay attention to, man. That's kind of suck. But everything's finally at peace. Um, everything's finally once again at peace. But except for Nora. What did Nora want out of all this? She gave Kuha those mass phantoms. But what did she want it this? Did she want to see what Yato would do? Or maybe she was interested in what Kuha was offering. Who knows? I like to say that we we'll probably be seeing Nora pretty time soon since this arc's over with. Other than that, um it was a good arc. It was strongly focused on Bishamon in her past, and of course her struggles, but she finally came over. And that was a pretty good fight scene she did with against that mass phantom, you know, using the old grandma as on um, a sword stick. But that was a good fight scene. I did enjoy that very much. I did enjoy the fact that she finally learned her lesson that hey, all this really was her fault. So now, probably now that she has a new chance again. She would probably learn her lesson, and that's the best you can do. But then yet again, Yato said that gods can't make mistakes. They can never be wrong. What a god does is what a god does. Because they don't rely among the living, so they don't have no right or wrong. They do it just because. 
So anyways, episode rating was a 9 out of 10. It was enjoyable. A lot of people were able to develop, become better people out of this episode. Kazuma, Hiyori, and of course, um, Yukine got himself with new regalia. And of course, Babishmon has finally faced her past and she's able to finally move on. So yeah, this was a good episode indeed. And plus the fight scenes. So you got yourself a good deal here. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I can't wait for the next arc. I want to see who this new dude is that they were showing the opening. That's probably what it's going to be about. And Yato was funny. I can't wait to see that. So anyway, if you like this video, please drop a like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Share if you could. I'll be much obliged. This is Matt Cronin, Sign out.